Good evening. Welcome to the Alan Osborne Show. It's been a while. But you know, I've got so much information to cover. I just don't know where to start. We'll start up here at the top of the world. Boy, if you've been following social media in Walton County, the election year is gearing up. Hell, it's gearing up across the nation. You see that Trump that Trump is mowing down stuff and the, the country is really out of hand. And you're seeing the effects of worthless government. People who've done nothing in government but allow everybody else to rape the government. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger's getting on there saying, these people are coming to America to get what they can out of America, not add to it. They're coming here for a handout, not to earn a legacy. They're coming here for free welfare of the state, something they can get nowhere else in the world. We're attracting people to come here and not innovate, but to come here and live off of us. And it's going to break the bank. These people are coming from countries where they don't have a system like this. So it's breaking our medical system. It's breaking our criminal system. Look on the news. They're, they're taking people who have no assets and they're giving them zero bond and they're turning them out on the streets who've been accused of attempted murder. And you just can't make this shit up. You can't make the shit up in Walton County. So we're going to take a start. And uh, he's really wanting some attention out there. So let's give him some. Oh, Chas Galloway's writing articles under John Walton. And at least says he is. Who knows? He's paying somebody. I don't know what the truth is. But we all know he's a dumbass. At least that's my opinion. So we'll give the Tiger King. He's He wants to be back in the news. And it's a good thing he does. Because let me read you an email. There's an email that was sent to the county commissioners today. It says, or, or yesterday or the other day. It says, and it informs them and gives them a document. And I'm going to give you some stuff off of it. Old Chaz, the Tiger King of Walton County. Boy, mm -mm. I bet somebody's mouth watering in the clerk of court's office. huh? Anyway, old Chaz, it says, and the documents it sent to the commissioners, all of them, and I believe it's to Stan. Yep, it's sent to Clay, too, and all the commissioners. And it says, it seems Chaz has been very busy. Please send me a public record request showing the bills and exactly how much the county paid for Floxy, Shutterstock Dropbox, and any other account that the county paid for. From this document, it appears Chaz was using the county account and merging his personal account to the county accounts. I would like a copy of every P card billed during his employment with the county. I have also been told that you have info that Chaz took pictures of the front and back of other employees' purchase cars. I am copies, copying Signe in the clerk of court's office. And also in the case, she is the key, it appears she is the keeper of the P-card bills. I would like to know the investigations on Chaz that were done. I'm sure they've been closed after two years. And I would like a copy of the investigation report that was done. And there was an attachment... It was an attachment from a report from the county IT guy. On that report, item 15, and uh, excuse me here, on that report, we got here, here's some key points for it. I don't want to get these wrong. I had to write them down. The county IT guy, I believe, who wrote this report, 323 of 22, he says, Floxy and Shutterstock that the county that Chaz set up these accounts in the county name and then said he didn't, said he closed them. But when the guy went back to try to log on to them, they were open. And it said that the county, uh, an app called Monday.com app, he'd been putting his personal business, is what this report says, into it, including merging FireVibe videos account with the info at waltonpublic.com. So this report freely admits in 22 that Chaz downloaded all this stuff into a public computer and his own personal stuff. So why was, if they knew this, why the big investigation on Joe Turner and uh, firing Quinn Robertson? Because they already knew the answer, didn't they? And if they fired Didi over 500 bucks in P-Card, 
what did they investigate Chaz over, and why didn't anybody take? I mean, does Chad have an inside connection at the sheriff's department? I mean, I understand. I'm not sure. The old Corey Godwin, who's the sheriff's side my side man in the campaign, that he's a big supporter of Chaz becoming a commissioner. What well, say you, Corey? Are you and Mikey really throwing the support behind Chaz? And is the Tiger King untouchable from crimes that he may have done while a county employee? Inquiring minds want to know because, you know, I I didn't find this information out. That's just, that's what this report says, that that's what occurred. Hmm. I don't know. And, and but I want to know, because like I said, if he opened all these accounties of Floxy and Shutterstock and merged all this stuff on a county computer and uploaded his personal information and emails and stuff, then all that stuff he said was an invasion of his, pri his privacy. It was public because this fool uploaded it onto a county server and it became public whether he liked it or not. You just can't make this stuff up. Let's go on to the next subject besides old Tiger King himself. I think he said he was in Jamaica today. Well, enjoy Jamaica. I'm sure you'll be sending cards to the Godwins and the sheriff for all the support of not investigating or prosecuting you and for the support for your run for county commissioner. Good job. So, well, let's go on to the latest things in the news, like Million Dollar Clay since our last meeting. It turned out that in one year, our temporary attorney had billed the county, and I think the TDC, a total of $806,000. You remember when old dummy lied well? He just recently, he wanted to make him full time the Atkinson firm. Who is the Atkinson firm? It's this guy with a potato chip bowl on his head, a partner of one, making $806,000. Oh, by the way. This amount of money does not include whatever he may have charged the Funiac, Paxton, and Freeport for his services to them. And it, it begs you to wonder, can any attorney bill a me, any local county attorney bill a million dollars in fees? Does he have enough hours in the day? Didn't he just come back from France? And I wonder how many times us unincorporated people have paid Clay to basically do work for the Funiac Springs, Paxton, and Freeport. If they wanted a city and they wanted him, they should pay for him. That's just my thoughts. I don't know if we are, but this is a, un and Danny doesn't want to pay 300000 to an experienced lawyer. We could have three great lawyers for that fee. Can you imagine how many people would take the job? if they knew that you were going to uh, make $800,000 a year, Danny? No wonder. Who's going to fall to Clay? Because what you're going to tell is the people behind him, we want you to do the same thing that Clay bent the taxpayers over the over the sofa on for 800000 for about two fifty million. dollar Clay has got to go. And speaking of elections... And, you know, and what's going on in the world. Mikey, we don't know if old Mikey has a, anybody running against him yet. But he's got it. I don't know. I, I bet old henchman Corey knows what's going on. And you can bet that these three are in on it. And I'll go over that. I'm going to have a whole separate show on law enforcement and where we're going with that. But I bet old Mikey and Corey kind of know what's up. Because, I, like I said, they're big Chaz supporters, the way I understand it, you know, going to be pushing him on us. So uh, I guess that's who they're going to get behind. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll come on the Alan Osborne show and talk about the connection with Galloway. It remains to be seen. Other in interesting election information uh, is who's going to run? Who else is going to run here? Let's see. What would be, well, where are we going to be at? We'll probably be at a vote of no confidence. And the clerk of court office, Alex Alford, says he's retiring. So the, so right now, the clerk's going to run. I believe the Sconyers is filed. Don't know nothing about her much. Just uh, she's been there a while. But it, it puzzles me why Alex would retire. 
You know why uh, Alan Osborne show thinks that he would retire? Just from the God's point of view of big, big picture. If you remember, the peak scar card scandal was created by Alex Offer. And I bet the good old boys of Tony Anderson and Trey Nick and Danny and who all were accused have already told Alex that his head's going to be on a plate. And it's better to retire than be defeated in the election. So I think he's going to step on down because he knows that the good old boys will be Pied Piper in their way to what's going on. And you just can't make this shit up. So that's what's going on in the clerk of courts. And we don't know if anybody's going to run against the sheriff. And good news in election news, Barbara Murano is registered to run. And that's a great thing. So... You know, what's also amazing is how quiet the BCC has been about the information on Matt Carpenter showing that he lost his real estate license over fraud accusations while the county was promoting. You don't think nobody didn't know that? You don't think somebody, we're, we're going to have an upcoming show on the Planning Commission, Mac, and what Shipman did on March 14th. And I'll just roll right into that. Shipman... You need to go watch the March 14th planning meeting because Fred Tricker is 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 in that meeting and watch what Mac and Gary Shipman say to him. Watch what the county attorney does as Shipman breaks down the board members and and watch Lee Perry let Shipman do it because Lee, aren't you and Shipman partners in some things? Is that why Shipman could do whatever he wanted and say whatever he wanted to Fred? Watch the county attorney base. I don't know what he's over there scrolling through Facebook. I'm not even sure if he's listening, but Fred Tricker is going to be up for removal by Boots and all them. And it's unbelievable on Tuesday. I hope people will show up in support of Fred, one of the most knowledgeable people that we've ever had on the planning board. And, and, and the good old boys of Anderson, Boots, and Danny are going to vote to throw him off. Just watch and see this shit show go down just because Fred wanted to say that the procedures weren't being followed. I'm for supporting Fred. I mean, isn't anybody worried that Matt Carpenter, who's in charge of our land development, has surrendered something over fraud and nobody cares? That's who's in charge of our the future of our community? Is this guy who lost his license and uh, got soundingly trounced in the last election, he got some serious issues and got complaints against him right now as an AICP. That's the way I understand it. Something ain't right. Upcoming BCC meeting, item 15 and 17, look closely. As the county on the consent thing, it, consent agenda is going to give 26000 $875 to the Choctahatchee Basin Alliance for water quality sampling and analysis. And number 17, they're going to do something about saving the oysters and restarting the oysters in the bay. What bullshit when the county is one of the biggest pipers of direct runoff into the bay? This is, this is the fox watching the hen house under the consent agenda. We're going to pay the Choctahatchee Basin Alliance, who never showed up, to my knowledge, in front of the BCC and said, hey, the bay's polluted and you're doing it, although they're well aware. They just show up to get a $25,000 check, and the county tells the phony baloney stuff to everybody that the bay's being monitored, and now we understand there's going to be a half a million dollar water quality study. Well, for $5 worth of gas, I can drive you from the front of Mac Bayou Road to some direct piping of 36-inch pipes into the bay by the county. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. The Skeeter Commissioner is suing the county for over the bay pollution. Doug Lyles, an elected official out there doing the right thing, trying to save the bay's water quality. Folks, you can't make this shit up. You, you just can't make this kind of fraud up in the county. And you can't make up this guy with a potato chip bowl on his head getting almost a, at least $806,000 a year, even if the rest was pro bono. But I kind of doubt it. You just can't make this up. And evidently, you know, we know who's behind a lot of the chaz stuff, don't we? 
Isn't it save the bay tray? See if I still got a picture of Trey available here. Uh, back in the archive here, but I'm not sure I do. So I have to go get old Save the Bay Troll Trace. Now, I understand Trey's putting out all this wonderful family stuff. And But, you know, getting a vote is you've got to, he's got to earn these votes at all costs. And check that out. Now, I don't know if he is or not, but if Chaz is his campaign or helping him with the cane, this is Chaz's words. You got to earn. Somebody tells Chaz, you got to earn at all costs. And Chaz says, you can feel special. You're the first voter that I've ever engaged with in this manner. V card, first voter. See, he's out there recruiting their first voters for Trey. See what I mean? I don't know, Chaz. Playing games has consequences. And it does for you too, Trey. We're not really that worried about Boots because he's already shot himself in the foot. foot. <laughs> Boots couldn't do anything more to sabotage himself than he has listening to his own thoughts and the thoughts of his friends. <laughs> you just can't make that shit up because they ain't even going to investigate Boots, but we're going to do a separate show on this. So just, just imagine if you – would you like to feel special too as one of Chaz's uh, – people he's recruiting to vote for him well you can sign up like this person did for a special treatment for mr tiger king himself you can't make this shit up on the alan osborne show but you can probably unelect it Let, let's let's hear from my, our legislative liaison what do you think of the shit show scott well i don't know i'm just sitting back here Looks like gin and juice time for him. You can't make this shit up in the world of politics. But there's some upcoming good shows going to be coming. Going to do a law enforcement show. Going to cover old old Chief Hurley and what he did and didn't do, and some and some and some other stuff that you just can't make up. Now, Stan, I'm waiting to hear back from you. I know it's Friday. We know Fridays are special at the county, aren't they, Stan? Even some of the commissioner's offices are close. So, Stan, let me know. We were all watching online. You've received the uh, accusation that due process in the code enforcement section has not occurred, and Way Wilmoth and Tony Corman were involved. So, Stan, let me know. I've posted a lot of that stuff online, and you can see it. And let us all know. And, uh, Stan, did you, get, did you get Tabitha on the, on the uh, agenda? For the BCC, boy, I heard sure hope so. It should be a barn burner at the next BCC meeting from the Fred Trickier issue to other issues. We've got questions. You know Joe Turner had to resign? Did you know that the investigation over that, that Suzanne Harris and I said we had information on, you know, nobody ever called us to interview us? They basically just strong-armed Joe out the door. I hope Stan wasn't at the bottom of that, or was he taking orders? Or was that the deal to cut to become permanent, Stan, that you would get rid of Joe Turner no matter what? It's all suspicious because there's no, there's no findings from an investigation. There can't be because we know we've got a page from something in 22 that says Chaz Galloway, the thing that you said you were investigating and Chaz accused him of, couldn't have happened if the IT guy told the truth or whoever wrote that report. They're mutually exclusive. And this is just shit that don't make sense on the Alan Osborne show. Just think about it. Who's paying them to do all this and create all this havoc? He finds it entertainment. Do you, do you find your tax money wasted? Do you like lawsuits about carrying naked people to the employee's office? Do you know there's like 40 lawsuits against the county? And to my knowledge, it's the first time the county attorney's ever been sued for taking people's civil rights. Is that what we needed out of an intern attorney? $800,000 a year to dig us into more problems and screw up settlements for the county and, and calling the shots on a development order that you've been already openly admitted that you're in, you're in a conflict with. Represented both sides. But, hey, good news. While he was the intern attorney, he helped get a building named after his daddy. And, and, and George Ralph, who he was also terminated with for the same thing. You just can't make this shit up in the, 
in the world of Walton County politics, but stay tuned for what happens on the national front. And 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 uh, if you want to hear something tomorrow night, come hear Matt Guest speak on what's going on nationally. Watch the news, be involved. Remember, those who don't participate in government will be ruled by those who do. Stand up for yourself and don't let it run over you. Well, you can't make this shit up on the Alan Osborne Show, but you can unelect it. You can take it to court. If people don't like that, they shouldn't play with fire. Anyway, telling the truth one day at a time on the Alan Osborne Show, you can't make this shit up. Y'all tune in next time, you hear?